Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions week 14 It's nearly halfway across the season, but just want to give a quick shout out to Raphael McGinn McGann, sorry if I mispronounced your last name, that's probably up somewhere across the line But anyway guys, let's get straight on the road this video So guys, you know what to do, give it a big crop thumbs up, you enjoy it, subscribe for more Thanks for watching and let's go So then the first game we're going to try and predict to Newcastle versus Norwich Newcastle, you know, losing to Arsenal 2-0 the previous weekend, sitting bottom of the Premier League table, and Eddie Howe's job don't look like getting any easier with a home trip, to, uh, home game to Norwich. Why don't it get any easier? Well, Norwich have got Dean Smith in charge and have picked up four points at their previous two games. So Norwich look on the up. Unfortunately, don't look the same for Newcastle, but I did say when Eddie Howe was. Uh, in charge, he's got to go all the way to the next chance for another with the players he's got. Looking forward to the game, I'm going to go for a Norwich win and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Norwich win, expecting Newcastle to score. The next one is Leeds United versus Crystal Palace. Leeds drawing 0 0 Brighton. I love to get Leeds' opinion on this because obviously Brighton is who I support, it's where I come from. And I want to get your opinions on it. If Leeds fans do watch this, please get down in the comments below how you feel about that point. Are you happy? Are you disappointed? Uh, talk more on the Brighton side when we get down to it. Crystal Palace, on the other hand, didn't do too badly, but it did lose the previous week uh, weekend to Aston Villa at home 2-1. This game's going to be a pretty interesting game, but look at Palace. I'm going to go for a Palace win. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Palace win. My next one is Southampton versus Leicester. Leicester did win and they played Watford 1-4-2 in the snow. It was one of them cases, I think, with the snow. It just fell everywhere and the Burnley Tottenham game got called off because of the snow. So, you know, it's one of them things. But on the other side of that, Going up against a very good Leicester City side uh, with well, Southampton are going up against a very good uh, Leicester side. Southampton did lose 4 0 to Liverpool to Ryan Kill. I ain't going to talk any more about that. That result really does sum up Liverpool if you show them too much respect or play uh, different tactics or wrong tactics or however you want to sum it up. So I'm going to go for a Leicester win and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Leicester win. My next one is Watford versus Chelsea. Now, I did just mention Watford and they lost 4 2 to Leicester. Chelsea 1 1 scoreline with Manchester United. Uh, did watch that Chelsea game. I did actually do a watch along to that Chelsea Man United game. And to me, Chelsea deserved the three points. Chelsea played anything that I did against uh, United. Surely they're going to win this game. And that's exactly what I'm going to go for. And I'm going to go for a. 3-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus West Ham or West Ham versus Brighton at the London Stadium. Now West Ham did lose the previous weekend to Manchester City 2-1 and Brighton did draw two uh, leagues at home and as I said I was very disappointed with that uh, draw. Not only did Brighton play well and there is a bit of banner or you know, a bit of stuff going around social media about Grandpa being booed at full time. Now, I'm sitting here from basically both sides of the story and I can actually understand both sides. And to me, I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to do what I keep on doing and I'm just going to see what happens at the club. Uh, obviously, what I'm saying that, it can't really have an impact on what the club does. So I'm just going to sit here and just see what happens and take, you know, go along with the road. West Ham do look very dangerous though, they do look a very good team this season. Going up against Brighton who can't score and that leaves with up to prove it really. Uh, Neil Mope pay missing quite a few chances to score and just couldn't put in the back in the net. Trossard hitting the post. Going forward to this game, I think I'm going to have to go this way even though I don't want to. I'm going to have to go for a West Ham win and I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Burnley. Now, Wolverhampton did draw 0-0 to Norwich 
Uh, great point for Norwich there. Burnley game did get called off to Tottenham. There's a picture on social media with Sean Dyche in the snow, just in a shirt and tie. Fair play to him for doing that. Going up against Wolverhampton, different, uh, you know, table positions, obviously. But what I mean is, you know, different form. Wolves, I think, might just go to three points in this one. I think that's what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Wolves win. My next one is Aston Villa against Manchester City. Now, Aston Villa did play Crystal Palace and did win 2-1. And, you know, we're doing OK under Stephen Gerrard. Man City being West Ham 2-1. This is going to be Stephen Gerrard's first big test, I do think. I mean, he's played Brighton and he's played who has that Crystal Palace. So, this is their real first big test. And I reckon it's going to be a game where Stephen Gerrard will be able to, you know, basically assist himself where he basically is as a manager. Um... But my opinion is, I think Man City will win this game at Villa Park. And they've got to after Chelsea failing to beat Manchester United. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Liverpool. Now, it might be a watch along to this game on my channel. And the best way to keep up to date is by subscribing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on social media. All the links to my social media are down in the description below. Uh, but going forward to the game, Everton did lose to Brentford. And if you send on my social media, basically, I'm not going to say what happened. But let's just say the fans weren't happy <laughs> at Brentford away. And, you know, they got possibly the right to be upset. They haven't won in a few games, apparently. Liverpool did beat... Uh, Southampton 4-0 at Anfield big mess side like derby and uh, yeah I can only see this game going one way Liverpool win and a 3-0 Liverpool win my next one is Spurs versus Brentford uh, Spurs you know doing okay can't let's see how they got in this weekend no they didn't play right? no they didn't play did they have to play, to play um Burnley, game got called off as I've already said. So I'm going to go straight to Brentford and Brentford did beat Everton 1-0. So, you know, it's going to be one, one of them things. Spurs, oh, is this extra break going to count? I reckon it's got a good chance to do so. Bit of a London derby, but Brentford do have a habit of causing an upset now and again. So I'm going to go for a 2 no, I'm not. I'm going to go for a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My last bit of week one is Manchester United versus Arsenal. Yet again, there could be another watch along to this game. And as I've already said, the best way to do it. So just got to go over to the results. Man United draw 1 1 with Chelsea. Arsenal beating Newcastle 2 0. Let's go to that United game quickly and speak about it from a United perspective. They got their new caretaker manager in charge now. He was appointed today as I'm recording this. So I'm guessing he's going to be in charge of Thursday's game against Arsenal. And, uh, you know, great point by United. But it's only got a point and maybe they should have got three points. They got the point by Sancho Roll and a Jota mistake. And perhaps Fred Schoen have had that shot off and maybe give it to Ronaldo. I think it was on the pitch at the time. Ronaldo didn't look too happy, so I'm going to go, you know, it's fair enough, but maybe I should have had the three, maybe you're happy with the one, maybe I should have had none. United fans, you know what to do, get in the comments below. Arsenal fans beating Newcastle 2-0, look on the winning trail, this game's going to be interesting, you know, as I said, maybe you'll watch along to it too, so I'm going to go for a... Because it's their first caretaker manager's first game, I'm going to stick up for United win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 United win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.